I just woke up and I figured this would be the perfect time to show you guys the before and after results of the gua sha. Um, I had a very salty dinner last night, so I did wake up with a puffy face. Before I start using this tool, I do want to mention that you want to use it with an oil. It's just going to encourage it to glide on your skin a lot easier. And as far as skincare goes, you do want to do all your skincare first. So this morning I washed my face, I applied my serum, my moisturizer, and oil should always go after moisturizer. So I already have my skincare on and I'm going to go ahead and apply my oil. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. The reason why I use rosehip seed oil is because out of all the oils, it's the most non-comedogenic, meaning it's not going to clog your pores and cause any breakouts. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount this morning. And when I apply my skincare, I always apply in an upward motion, which is the same motion we're going to be using today when we apply the gua sha. So just remember, you always want to lift and contour the face. You don't want to bring it down. Now, as far as how you hold the gua sha, you basically want to hold it like this. So this longer side here is what your fingers are holding onto. So kind of like a gun. So think of this longer side as kind of like a handle and you're going to hold it like this and then you're going to have all this surface to scrape your face. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my forehead. So I'm just going to hold it and with my gua sha, I'm going to go ahead and start scraping in an upward motion. One thing I really love about the gua sha is that once you start scraping your face with the tool, you're going to notice so many areas of your face that hold a lot of tension that you never noticed before. This area right here feels a little bit tense when I go over it, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on that area a little bit more. So now I'm going to move on to my cheeks and my jawline, and I'm going to continue to hold it the same way, and I'm going to lay it flat on my face. One thing to note is that you do want to lay it flat like this. You don't want to hold it like this. You want it to touch as much as your skin as possible so that it helps to depuff and lift the contours of the face. So now that I've gone and lifted and depuffed my skin, I'm going to go ahead and focus a little bit more on contouring and lifting the skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip this on the other side and hold the tool where the curve is. And from here, we're going to go ahead and contour the cheekbone. And once I get to the outer part of my face, I like to wiggle it and release that tension. So now I'm going to move on to my jawline and typically I would start right here in the middle of my chin and move upward. However, I do have a ton of breakouts at the moment. And you don't want to use the gua sha on breakouts because you're going to be applying a lot of pressure on it. It's going to become irritated and inflamed, so you really just want to skip that area. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and start right here and move up. So what we're really doing is just moving that tension and releasing it out of our face. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the neck and some people actually start with this first, so it's totally up to you. From here, I'm just gonna move in an upward motion and you just feel so much tension just releasing. This feels amazing, especially if you have any neck or shoulder pain, this is perfect for it. So make sure that you apply oil on your neck and you can even bring it down to your shoulders a little bit. And from here, I'm just going to keep going in an upward motion, but the back of the neck is where I have the most tension, so I'm going to really concentrate it there. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. Um, I did look in the mirror just now, and I do notice a difference. All right, guys, so I'm going to be posting a before and after photo here, and let me tell you guys, when I saw this, I was shocked. The biggest difference for me that I can see is in my jawline. My jawline just looks a lot more defined compared to the first photo where 
it just doesn't have as much definition. I definitely feel like my face is slimmer in the after photo. I also noticed after that my cheeks were more lifted and can also see it here a little bit in the photo as well. So I definitely see the difference now that I'm comparing it side by side. So I highly recommend you guys to do the same if you do try the gua sha and you want to see the differences. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do that so you can come join the fam. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!